friends, I'm going to show you something that I've never seen until today. This is the inside of the fan club room rebuilt, put back together. That is one of the doors that went to the fan club room. If you walked out there, the colonel's house would have been right there. So if you go back and look at my videos, you can see this building. They've actually put the boards back exactly where they were. Each one of them was numbered when it was pulled out, and they're put back exactly where they were. And then the famous photo of Elvis. I've never seen this room together until today. You see this photo right here? That photo happened right here. Look at this. They've got the ceiling back together, the lights back together. That is the original window, the original blinds. That is the way it looked before they tore it apart. This is that door that I just showed you in the other room, the glass. That glass right there is this glass. That is where all of Elvis's fan club mail got to. It would go in that building. The sorting room was back here. So there was actually a door. If you walk through this door, there was another door that went into the sorting room in the back. This is the actual door right here. So this door went to the room. You can see it right there. I don't know if you can see what's written there. So something else I want to show you that's very cool. You see in that picture, that's not a wide shot. Let's see if we can get a wide shot of this. Look through. Here's the Isetta. There's the Elvis Fan Club. And you see it says P.O. Box 417, which is this building. There's the Colonel right here with the mayor of Nashville standing right here, giving him an award. He's standing there. That's him. You can see the things behind. You see the little stands right there? There they are. And those things were added after Elvis. You see they're not in the photo. This is the corner. Where that picture's hanging out is right here. You can even see the hole right there for it, right there. That's the hole for that picture. But there's a corner here that you really is hard to make out, but it's that corner. In fact, the grooves that you see here, there they are right there. And there was a nipper dog picture hanging right here on this wall. There's the hole for it. See that? And in the wide shot, I'm going to show you that you see that heater right there. Let me see if I can find a wide shot. I'm going to have to pop a, a picture up on the screen here to get that wide shot. So here's a wide shot of this picture. It's actually reversed, but right here is the top of the heater that you can see right there. And what I mean by reverse is the picture is literally in reverse as opposed to the room. I am amazed at this. I have never stood in this room. When I went over there and Brian was dismantling this place, all this had already been taken out. But every board was numbered. Every one of them are back exactly like it was in this photo. And something else I'm going to show you is, you see, see that little knot right there? There it is right there. You see the knot that says number one right there? There it is right there. It's all angle stuff. You see there's another one right there. There it is there. You see this one? There it is right there. In fact, I think it may be that one. And that one, and one behind, actually, right there, is this one. But Elvis was in that coat. This is the, the coat. I'm pretty sure this is the same coat that he went in the military with. And he's sitting here. There's a desk right here. And the colonel is typing, and Elvis is sitting there, and he got his picture made. And I believe that this is the day that he found out, or, or basically, I shouldn't say the day he found out, but the day that the... Uh, um, that the people came to uh, interview him. The press came to interview him about going in the military. That happened right here. But I am absolutely amazed. Look at this right here. You see that? Wood grain. These are original. That window is original. All this is the original stuff. Even the light switch is original to this room. Yep. That is pretty darn cool stuff. Now, another thing, this is outside. We were in the fan club room here. This is in the colonel's basement. So I want you to see, that's the way it looked before they removed it from the house. You see the two poles. You see that it had the, the place to put glasses in the back. 
It had little trap doors and little things. They completely reassembled this exactly like it was. There's the pole, but the poles were out front back then. You can see the bars all back together. And there's another one of the poles, and you can even see these lamps. These lamps were around in the basement. You can see them right in there. But those are the original ones. So if you don't think that Elvis used this to build his in Graceland, I think he did. If you think about the way it looks, Elvis wanted a bar in his basement just like the Colonel had in his basement. I think that is pretty darn cool stuff. Another thing you have is this is a record cabinet that was next to the bar to hold records. You see it's got places for albums in there. And then you could put knickknacks up here or you could put 45s in there. Another thing that's here is when Elvis met the Beatles, the song Mohair Sam, written by Dallas Frazier, had just come out a very short time before that. Elvis, according to Paul McCartney, Elvis was playing Mohair Sam over and over and over again. The song Mohair Sam was written by Dallas Frazier on that piano right there. Yep, yeah, it sure was. And these are awards for Dallas Frazier. There's he wrote Elvira. There goes my everything. You remember that song? Son of a Hickory Hollers Tramp. You remember he wrote Alley Oop, the same guy. And then let's look at this one over here. 14 Karat Mine. So Dallas Frazier was quite a writer. That photo right there, by the way, was taken outside of the... Um, fan club room when Elvis was talking to the press at that same place. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. So I want to show you another thing related to this, and this is a little aside. These decorations belong to Donna Summer. These were her Christmas decorations, yep. The famous singer, Donna Summer. I will survive Donna Summer. Her Christmas decorations. And there's the Elvis Presley fan club, look, special souvenir package. And that came from the fan club room, Madison, Tennessee, which is this room right here. And I am amazed that I'm inside of it. You see those four windows in the door? I'm going to show you again. And then you see all these windows in the door. There's the four windows in the door from the outside. There's the door. And then there's the eight windows that you see right here. So they have put this back together, and I could not be more excited to be standing in this room. It's pretty, pretty darn incredible. The Colonel's Exhibit, His Wonderful World of Show Business. And that's All-Star Shows, which was the Colonel's thing. Another thing that came out of the Colonel's house, out of his office down in the basement, is this shelf unit right here. And before he handled Hank Snow and Elvis, he handled Eddie Arnold. And I want you to look right there on that shelf. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. Eddie Arnold. That's something. Then we have an autographed Chet Atkins guitar. That looks like a, I'm not a Gibson expert. It is an Epiphone, but it has a Gibson thing up there, but that looks like a J200 to me, and that is a Chet Atkins autograph. I'm not going to swear it's a J200, but it sure looks like it. And Chet, of course, did a lot of Elvis's stuff. Really, really cool. And then these are other items out of the Colonel's house. That block came from the shower down in the basement. That came from the telephone system different pieces. That came from Elvis's bedroom. And then this is pieces of tile and different items that were in there. This was pulled out of the blocks of the uh, fan club room. This was actually crumpled up down in the cinder blocks. And they also found some Elvis fan mail down in there. But that's Hank Snow and the Rainbow Ranch Boys. And you know Elvis traveled with Hank. If you watched the new movie, you saw that. And then that's a Hank Snow autograph, and there's his tie. And then again, that's the Elvis photo that was taken outside of the fan club room. That right there is the top of the fan club room. He's standing in front of it. 
facing towards Gallatin Road. And then that is Eddie Arnold. Look, it says RCA Records and Tapes right there. So some want to take away the Colonel's influence on Elvis's career like he was some carny. The Colonel was not a fool, friends. If it was not for the Colonel, no Colonel, no Elvis in my estimation. This pole right here was right outside the fan club room. Those telephone wires is the wires that would have called the Ed Sullivan Show and so many other things from that time period. This right here is the Colonel's RCA vacuum cleaner from his house. Look at that. And then I'm going to walk you out here and let you see just a few things. So we'll look quickly at a few things out here. And this place is not open right now. He's mostly focusing on Johnny Cash history. But he was curious as to how many of you would be interested in coming out and seeing this kind of stuff. This was from the fan club room, the bathroom, the toilet, the sink. This was the Colonel's um, barbecue. This is where he would cook out there. And I even have a little bit of stuff from this area at the Colonel's house. Those are the gates that would have had to be open for Elvis to come visit the Colonel. And he's got all kinds of neat stuff out here. It's really a neat place. It's really beautiful. This is from the Colonel's bathroom, and they use it to make a spillover. And you see the cross down in there. And there's a pond that we found that there was a story that Elvis would put goldfish in it and that kind of stuff. And this is part of the pond. All this stuff came from that pond. This is the back door to the Colonel's house. There would have been a place for a like an outside telephone or something of that nature. This was by the door. And this is the actual back door. All the stuff. That tree right there was dug up right behind the, the barbecue at the Colonel's house. All these are the porch columns from the Colonel's house. And then you can see they've got a nice little venue out here to have live music. He started putting Elvis's bathroom, which was the guest bathroom, back together. This shower right here, these pieces were from the shower in the fan club building. And then this would have been the guest bathroom, pink and black. That would have been Elvis's bathroom that he would have used. Now what they did was they had to pull these things apart because otherwise this stuff ended up in the dump. And you can see this tile's broken up. I have a piece of this from this bathroom that was gifted to me by Brian that was in the Tiger Man Karate Dojo Museum. These are all the window coverings and the windows and shutters from the house. So there's a lot of cool stuff out here to see. So we just want to know, is there interest? This is in Bon Aqua, Tennessee. Right up the street was Johnny Cash's farm. And they have a museum up there with Johnny Cash stuff. And the issue was, is they had Johnny and Cash and Elvis here. And when they have them both in the same place, people get confused. And that's an autographed poster from Dr. Nick. But this is a really, really cool place. And I'll show you a photo that you'll see that in, in this corner. Now, Elvis is not in the photo, but you'll see the, the heater. This right here was around the, uh, when you walk in the living room in that's, the Colonel's house the in Madison, this was the mantle that was in the living room. Right, so the Colonel and Elvis would have, if they were meeting in there, this, they would have yeah. hung out around that. And I'll show you pictures, friends, of this before they removed it. And then you mentioned, of course, this is Minnie Pearl's dress, and that's right. Minnie Pearl. So you got some stuff there. But you mentioned this jukebox here was Donna Summers? No, no, not that one. Which one? The one in that room. Okay, so how, where's this jukebox from? Uh, I got that some, I forget where I bought it. I just bought it. It's, it's a good one. Yeah, it looks like it's a rock old one. And it's got Elvis in it. Yeah, it's got a bunch of Elvis. That's why I bought it. That's cool. So let me see the Donna Summer one. Yeah, and the other one. I'm sorry, Silent. You want the lights turned on? Yes, ma'am, if, if you can. So this was in Donna Summer's house? Well, yeah, but there's other and others, but it's considered probably the best, best one around. 
So does it play 78s? Man, this thing is old. Yeah, I think it originally played 78s. Wow. Does it play? Let's find it out. Got Sam, Sam Cook or. You got it crying in the chapel. Okay. Sometimes it has to be helped to get down there. Okay, so it's 45s now. Yeah. yeah wow, look at that. Raised it. it raised it up. Yeah, but I don't think it quite made it. Sometimes that happens. It, it worked. In the incredible. And that was in Donna Summer's house. That is incredible. The colonel's symbol was the stagecoach. This closet right here, friends, is the closet that was in the basement at the colonel's house that the gold lame suit hung in. There was one big bar that went across right here, and that gold lame suit was hanging right in there. Yes, it was. Friends, since the filming of this, Brian and Sally have closed down Storytellers and moved all of these items that you saw down to the Johnny Cash Farm, which is just down the street. I will put the website at the end of this video and also down in the description area so you can go check it out. Make sure you go visit Brian and Sally, Bon Aqua, Tennessee. They've got an awesome collection, and I will put pieces of this collection up in one of the next videos. <music> And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.